Deadline Edition, July 8, 1947. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found at Roswell, New Mexico, and is now in the possession of the Army. I'm going to channel my inner Fox Mulder, because today I am in search of the truth. Did a spaceship crash here? Were there little aliens taken off this spaceship? And are there people who can corroborate and verify if this actually happened? And to help me in my search for the truth is former UFO special investigator, Don Schmidt. So what exactly is rumored to have happened here in 1947? Well, not rumored. They actually put out a press release that they indeed captured a flying saucer. Five hours later, that was retracted, and it was nothing more than a weather balloon. The witnesses were all threatened into silence, and yet as they were approaching their deathbeds, they were starting to confess that, no, it was uh, a flying saucer. You're talking about the biggest story of the millennium. The biggest cover-up. What crashed here was indeed a craft of unknown origin manufactured off this planet. But the story doesn't stop there. We're standing in the very hangar where the bodies from the UFO were brought. If me and you were to see these bodies, would it be clear as day that these are not of the planet Earth? Yes. Most prominent was the head. Large almond-shaped eyes, like horse eyes, mm -hmm. and a very diminutive nose, just a slit for a mouth, and just openings for the ears. They appeared like human beings, but they weren't. Every summer, Roswell plays host to the UFO Festival, a gathering of not only diehard believers, but also alien abductees, or experiencers, as they prefer to be called. Who here believes in aliens and UFOs? I saw an object in Santa Fe in 2014 that turned out to be a triangular-shaped craft. There was a circle of light in my backyard, and this man was standing in it. Here is this spaceship five stories tall. We were abducted. He's skinny, spindly. He's, he didn't have a belly button. Yeah. He didn't have genitalia. These stories have me intrigued. But what I'm looking for is proof. So who are you going to call? Well, the UFO seekers, of course. So where are we heading now, guys? Well, we're headed to the UFO crash site where the object was discovered that crashed in 1947. And who knows, you might find something. Yeah, I think the chances are really good. We're, we're right below military airspace, and UFOs, they're attracted to areas like that. If we do see aliens today, I don't need to make sure I outrun the aliens. I just need to make sure I can outrun the two of you. <laughs> First, we deploy the metal detector to see if we could find any debris left over from a possible crash. Here we go. Yeah, we got some writing on here. We Actually, it looks numbers. like numbers on there. We got 75J. What? Oh, you got a hit? <laughs> Look at that, right on top of the dirt. Yeah, that looks older for sure. Looks like we have some type of uh, lever assembly. Ah! What do you got? <laughs> oh, what the heck? Now that actually... Oh, you did find something. Ah! See, that's what we're looking for. They can't really be bent or destroyed. And you can see how thin this is, and you can't even flex the material. Yeah. Yep. Good catch, Tracy. Good job, team. <laughs> but to actually see a UFO, we need to turn our attention from the ground to the night sky. We're looking for objects that are just a solid emanating light and things that move direction. It's like I can see in the dark. Wait, hold on. We got movement. Whoa. Hold on, look, 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 look. What is that? What is that? What is that? Look, what is that? Moving to the right. What is that? You see it? Yeah, yeah. Look, it's moving across the screen. I arrived in Roswell as a skeptic. <laughs> I think you might have got something, Johnny. I saw some things on that night vision camera tonight that I can't necessarily explain. What the heck is that? Is my skepticism 100% removed? No, but I honestly feel like I am a lot closer to the truth than I was when I got here. <laughs>